And so here we are on the morning after all the snow. It's getting rained on, and because of the rain, we are faced with this in the paddock. What is this? This is the snow that freaked out the llamas. Snow freaked out llamas. Why are the llamas freaked out? Because while the llamas were sitting under the loafing shed last night, the snow fell off of the roof, coming whooshing down in a raging llama scary torrent of flooding snow that they just couldn't grasp. Right, boys? Couldn't get your mind around that? So they've been huddled around their poop pile and will not come back under the loafing shed despite even the dog being here. Lots of food, nice warm straw, big scary scary snowdrift. Scary. Scary llama. Scary pile of snow. Scary llama. Scary pile of snow. Oh, don't get too close to me, they say. Oh, here's some food, I say. Here, have some food. Look, isn't that good? No, I don't want it. Scary snowdrift. Scary llama. I'm scared. Everybody's scared. Well, boys, you'll get used to it. Nothing's that bad. You can come back under here where it's safe and dry. I even carved you out a path in the snow to the gate. But I want you to stay under here. Will they come under the loafing shed? No, I don't think so. Not for a while. They'll probably stand out there most of the day, traumatized by the falling snow. Ah, the life of a llama. Poor, defenseless llama. And trace the dog.